Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Market research firm CounterPoint released data on the global memory chip market for the third quarter of this year. The data shows that China's share of the memory chip market has surpassed Japan, ranking second only to the United States, and the gap with the US is rapidly closing. Overtaking the US is imminent, highlighting China's rapid progress in the memory chip industry. The data indicates that China holds approximately 8% of the DRAM memory chip market and a 13% share of the NAND flash memory chip market, totaling over 10% of the overall memory chip market share. This is more than double the 5% share it held two or three years ago. Both of these memory chip companies were founded in 2016, starting from scratch, demonstrating their rapid growth. The world's top three memory chip companies are Samsung and SK Hynix of South Korea, with Micron of the United States ranking third. However, in recent years, Micron has almost become a follower in the memory chip industry, holding a much smaller share than the two South Korean companies which together account for approximately 70% of the global memory chip market. In the past two years, South Korea's two major memory chip companies have made huge profits thanks to HBM chips, spearheaded by AI chip giant NVIDIA. They have also collaborated seamlessly with NVIDIA, offering more advanced technology and more comprehensive services. Conversely, Micron, also an American company, seems to have fallen short in its cooperation with NVIDIA, leading to a widening gap between Micron and South Korean memory chip companies. Compared to the US and South Korean memory chip companies, China's memory chip industry relies primarily on the domestic market. China is the world's largest purchaser of memory chips, accounting for approximately 30% of the global market share annually. In the past, due to the constraints imposed by the US, Japan, and South Korea, Chinese companies had no choice but to endure their frequent price increases. Back then, South Korean memory chip companies faced a series of price-gouging accusations, using various pretexts to continuously raise prices. Years ago, South Korean memory chip companies were heavily fined by the US for allegedly manipulating memory chip prices, highlighting their long-standing practice of price manipulation to reap huge profits. China's manufacturing industry became their primary source of revenue. Furthermore, memory chips are also related to information security. With the explosive growth of data, the demand for memory chips is increasing daily. However, industries that rely on memory chips from the US, Japan, and South Korea are naturally unreliable. Therefore, after establishing its Integrated Circuit Industry Fund, China has prioritized memory chips as one of the chip sectors it supports. Around 2016, three memory chip companies were established in China. However, one of these companies later stalled for various reasons. The other two companies focused on developing DRAM and NAND flash memory chips, respectively. Based on the experience of the other company, these two Chinese memory chip companies chose to start from scratch and develop their own memory chip technology to avoid being dependent on others. NAND flash memory chips have evolved from the most basic 32-layer NAND flash memory chips. Even when 64-layer NAND flash memory chips were successfully developed, it was only through small-scale trial production to accumulate technology. Mass production only began with 128-layer NAND flash. By the time 232-layer NAND flash memory chips were mass-produced, China had successfully surpassed the US, Japan, and South Korea, but at that time, 
it also encountered limitations in chip equipment. However, China's memory chip industry has not slowed down. On the one hand, it is actively utilizing domestically produced equipment as a substitute. It is reported that a fully domestically produced production line was completed in the second half of this year. This is because memory chips still use processes above 10 nanometers to ensure reliability, and the requirements for chip equipment are not as high as those for logic chips. On the other hand, it continues to persist in technological research and development, reportedly having developed a 300-layer NAND flash memory chip, with technology basically on par with the US, Japan and South Korea. The rise of domestically produced memory chips has brought positive benefits to China's manufacturing industry. Price increases in US, Japanese, and South Korean memory chips have been curbed. In the rapidly developing AI chip industry, domestically produced HBM chips have also been successfully mass-produced. The mass production of advanced memory chips highlights the rapid progress of domestic chip technology. The increased profits from this production have, in turn, supported the domestic chip supply chain, driving technological research and development, forming a virtuous cycle and reducing dependence on overseas sources in both the chip and chip industry chain. At this time, the launch of domestically produced advanced memory chips can provide a stable supply of domestically produced DRAM to the domestic market. Going forward, through continuous capacity expansion and large-scale domestic supply, dependence on overseas manufacturers' production capacity can be effectively reduced. According to predictions from well-known institutions, by the end of 2025, domestically produced DRAM memory will capture approximately 16% of the global market share. In response, some foreign media outlets have stated that international memory giants like Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron should be worried. This is because mainland China's memory performance has caught up with theirs, breaking their monopoly in the memory chip market, and they will no longer be able to control prices. It is understood that Yangtze Memory Technologies Company, Limited S232 Layer 3D NAND, has also begun large-scale shipments, marking that both of its major series of domestically produced memory have reached globally leading levels. With continuous expansion of production capacity, it can not only meet domestic demand, but also compete globally.